Air travel is one of the safest forms of transportation, but sometimes things go wrong. Sometimes planes need to make emergency landings. However, that doesn't mean that all hope is lost, as there have been some incredible plane landings over the years that have been nothing short of miraculous. Today, we're taking a look at the top 15 miraculous emergency plane landings. Number 15, British Airways Flight 5390. Typically speaking, the outside of an airplane is both extremely windy and extremely cold. But no one knows this quite as well as Captain Timothy Lancaster. That's because about 15 minutes into a flight between Birmingham, England and Malaga, Spain, the left windshield on Lancaster's side of the plane flew off, causing his entire upper torso to fly out the window while the rest of his body just barely remained in the plane. This caused First Officer Alastair Atchison to have no choice but to make an emergency landing at Southampton Airport which was made exceptionally difficult due to the fact that bursts of loud and cold wind were depressurizing the cockpit. Yet despite the fact that Lancaster was essentially only being prevented from flying out of the plane thanks to two flight attendants holding onto his ankles, Atchison nonetheless landed the aircraft successfully. And while Lancaster ended up suffering from frostbite, bruising, shock, and fractures to his right arm, left thumb, and right wrist as a result, the fact that he survived at all and the plane landed safely was nothing short of miraculous. Number 14, China Eastern Airlines Flight 583. While pilots are generally able to control all aspects of their plane while in flight, this certainly wasn't the case for the pilot on China Eastern Airlines Flight 583. That's because the leading edge wind slats inadvertently shifted while in flight, and when the pilot tried to correct this, the plane began to experience severe turbulence. Fearing that the plane would become completely uncontrollable, he was forced to make an emergency landing on the remote island of Shima off the coast of Alaska, diverting it from its scheduled path between Shanghai and Los Angeles. And while all the passengers would survive the initial landing, two ultimately ended up passing away in hospital, with a total of 156 experiencing injuries of some sort. And while everyone involved was essentially rescued and brought to Los Angeles, this still must have been an absolutely terrifying experience. Number 13, TACA Flight 110. Flying in a storm is far from ideal, and the pilots of TACA Flight 110 found this out the hard way when flying between Belize City and New Orleans. That's because while trying to descend to the city's airport, the pilots inadvertently flew into a powerful level four thunderstorm that had not popped up on the plane's weather radar. This caused both of the plane's engines to ingest heavy levels of water and completely flame out, thus forcing the pilots to perform an emergency landing while a canal was the initial target, they instead spotted a patch of grass nearby and ended up landing on a grass levee adjacent to NASA's Michaud Assembly Facility. Best of all, while an engineless descent could have easily ended in disaster, the pilots were able to land the plane so well that it not only sustained very little damage, but in a way that was so soft that no one on board sustained any serious injuries. As a result, TACA Flight 110 definitely stands apart for being one of the smoothest emergency landings to date. Number 12, China Airlines Flight 006. Given that a flight between Taipei and Los Angeles is about 11,000 kilometers long and takes about 13 hours, it certainly isn't the type of route where a mechanical issue would be ideal. However, on February 19th of 1985, the pilots on board China Airlines Flight 006 experienced exactly that, when the fourth of the airplane's three engines flared out about 10 hours into flight. Now, the standard procedure in such an incident is to descend in order to restart the engine. Yet rather than do so gradually, the plane ended up descending for about 3.4 kilometers at speeds so fast that they put 5 Gs of force on the passengers. And even at this level, the engine did not restart, so the pilots had no choice but to make an emergency landing in San Francisco. And although they were unsure if it would be a success, despite their plane being impaired, they were able to land without incident, saving everyone on board. Number 11. Delta Flight 128 While passengers on Delta Flight 128 were certainly expecting to travel from Beijing, China to Seattle, Washington, they were in for a treat when they were instead diverted to the remote Aleutian Islands off the Alaskan coast. That's because about halfway through the trip, one of the plane's engines failed, and to ensure that a more major catastrophe did not occur, the pilots opted to land the plane on Shima Island. It was at this remote airbase that passengers had to wait for about 12 hours for a new plane. And while they were eventually rescued and brought to Seattle by a different Delta aircraft, this certainly must have made for a memorable experience. Number 10, TUI Boeing 757-200 Sideways Landing While airplanes are generally designed to land so that their front wheels hit the ground first, in some situations this just isn't feasible, 
That's because if a wind current is strong enough, it can be near impossible for a plane to fight the resistance, and as a result, pilots sometimes have to get creative and work with wind currents rather than against them. This is something that Captain Brenda Repsame Wasink of TUI Airlines knows all too well. As in October of 2018, she was forced to use a rather unconventional technique while landing at Bristol Airport in the midst of Storm Callum. That's because rather than land her plane in a forward position, she instead used a technique known as crabbing, which essentially involves having a plane approach the runway sideways before turning at the last moment so that it makes contact with the ground safely. And while this maneuver is difficult for even an experienced pilot to pull off properly, Wasink nevertheless managed to do it. Best of all, when you consider that she had only gotten her pilot's license one year prior, it becomes clear that Wasink likely has a bright future in the flying industry. Number 9. Air Asia X-Plane Although you may not expect much from a budget airline, Air Asia certainly exceeded their passengers' expectations in all the wrong ways on a June 2017 flight from Perth, Australia to Malaysia. That's because after just 75 minutes of airtime, the plane produced a loud bang and then began to shake rapidly. And although the airline would chalk this up as simply being a technical issue with one of the jet's engines, thanks to the twin-engine aircraft being designed to be able to function with just one engine, the pilot was able to turn the plane around and head back to Perth in order to have it assessed rather than crash-landed in the Pacific. And while the pilot's behavior certainly wasn't exemplary during the situation, after all, he asked the passengers to pray that the plane would not crash, not once, but twice. He nonetheless was able to safely land the defective plane about two hours later, leading to all the passengers and crew on board being left unscathed. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Qantas Flight 72 While automated controls on planes may have made the task of flying an airplane a whole lot easier than it used to be, at times these automated controls can cause a lot more harm than good. Qantas Flight 72 is a perfect example of this, as on October 7th of 2008, the plane experienced some serious issues while traveling between Singapore's Changi Airport and Australia's Perth Airport. That's because after completing about half the flight, the aircraft automated controls suddenly began to give the plane false information. And while the pilots first tried to fix this issue by simply switching to flying the plane manually, this didn't actually help the matter, as before long the plane began to take things a step further. That's because the automated controls promptly began to tell the plane to make some extremely dangerous maneuvers. The first was a steep downward pitch, which caused the aircraft to descend rapidly for 200 meters at an angle of 8.4 degrees and at a force of 0.8 Gs. And while this was already scary enough, just three minutes later, the plane made a second uncommanded maneuver, this time accelerating for 120 meters by 0.2 Gs while on a 3.5 degree angle. Ultimately, this caused one crew member and 11 passengers to sustain serious injuries, while an additional eight crew members and 99 passengers suffered from several minor ones. As a result, the pilot had no choice but to make an emergency landing at Western Australia's Learmont Airport, where in spite of his aircraft's chaotic controls, he was able to land safely. Number seven, Air France Flight 296. While most of the pilots on this list pulled off emergency landings due to their great experience, in the case of Air France Flight 296, many believe that it was caused directly by the pilot's overconfidence. You see, the plane in question had been a brand new Airbus A320-111, and the flight, which was between Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris and Basel Mulhouse Airport in Switzerland, had a stopover at the small Hapsheim Aerodrome. However, it was this stopover that proved to be fatal. You see, neither of the pilots were familiar with this tiny airstrip, and although they were expecting to land on a one kilometer long paved runway, in fact, it only ended up being 640 meters long and made of grass. And although the pilot should have been able to pull the plane up and avoid the shortened strip altogether, due to them flying far too slowly than would have been deemed safe by a regular pilot, the A320's computer system automatically prevented this maneuver, thus forcing them to crash land the plane. As a result, the aircraft ended up barreling into a nearby forest, where most of those on board should have hypothetically met their demise. Yet in a miraculous stroke of luck, all but three of the plane's 136 passengers survived the incident. However, in a much less unsurprising turn of events, both the plane's pilot and four other officials ended up being found guilty of involuntary manslaughter due to their negligence. Number six, British Airways Flight 38. Out of all the entries on this list, few were able to land at their targeted destination as well as British Airways Flight 38. 
That's because despite on this flight being an 8100 kilometer journey from Beijing, China to London, England, the need for an emergency landing only became apparent right before the Boeing 777 being flown was about to touch down. You see, the flight path had been relatively cold throughout much of the journey, and although the crew was monitoring the air conditions to ensure that the fuel would not freeze, given that the fuel temperature never dropped below negative 34 degrees Celsius, it was not in danger of hitting the negative 40 degree jet fuel freezing mark. However, despite this, small quantities of water within the fuel did end up freezing, and although it had no effect on the plane for most of the flight, it became problematic when the plane tried to land as ice turned into a slush that restricted fuel flow in the 777's fuel oil heat exchangers. This ultimately meant that the engines began to be unresponsive to demands for increased thrust, and as a result, the plane had to be glided down to the ground. And although the plane ended up making contact a little bit short of the runway, against all odds, everyone on board survived the landing, with only one serious injury and 46 minor injuries being reported across the flight's 152 crew and passengers. Number 5. Pan Am Flight 6 While the idea of having a passenger flight go around the world may seem strange today, in the 1950s this was quite the trend. However, these long-haul flights weren't all that easy on a plane's mechanics, and on October 16th of 1956, Pan American Airlines had the misfortune of finding this out the hard way. That's because after Pan Am Flight 6 had taken off from Philadelphia and had flown eastward through Europe and Asia, it entered its last leg between Honolulu, Hawaii and San Francisco, California. Yet it was on this final part of the flight that disaster struck, as at about the halfway point, two of the plane's four engines failed. At this point, the pilots made some quick calculations and realized that the plane didn't have the capability to make it back to either Honolulu or San Francisco. And as a result, pilot Richard Ogg made the hard decision to land the plane in the Pacific Ocean. Now, the one thing that Og had on his side was that an American weather ship known as the USCGC Pontchartrain was nearby, and thus he knew that if he could land close to the ship, all on board could potentially be saved. As such, he began to circle the boat until he expended all of his fuel, with this being done to ensure that no fire or explosion would occur, also making it more likely that the plane would land slowly and smoothly. And although the odds were certainly against him, after making a rather rough landing that caused the plane to turn 180 degrees and have its tail break off, he miraculously managed to make a relatively safe landing that led to all 44 passengers and crew being rescued. Unsurprisingly, this led Og to being hailed a hero back home, which led him to eventually becoming the first ever recipient of the Civilian Airmanship Award in recognition of his actions. Number 4. Aloha Airlines Flight 243 Hawaii is considered by many to be a tropical paradise. However, on April 28th of 1988, those on Aloha Airlines Flight 243 soon had their time on the island become more akin to a tropical nightmare. That's because this flight, which was traveling between Hilo, Hawaii and Honolulu, Hawaii, was using a Boeing 737 that was far past its prime. You see, the Boeing in question had flown for an accumulated time of 35,496 flight hours and it clocked in over 89,680 takeoffs and landings, which is more than double the amount that the plane was designed to withstand. To make matters worse, the plane had been used almost exclusively in Hawaii, which due to its relatively high levels of salinity and humidity, made the aircraft break down especially quickly. In tandem, these factors had caused significant disbonding and fatigue damage. However, due to Aloha's pre-flight inspection process being extremely lax, no airline employee had detected this. Thus, once in flight, a small section on the left side of the roof ruptured, causing explosive decompression that then tore off a very large section of it. As a result, the pilot quickly flew the plane to the nearby Kahului Airport on the island of Maui, where despite having a gaping hole in his plane, he was able to land safely. And although the incident had led to one casualty, as a 58-year-old flight attendant by the name of Clarabelle C.B. Lansing was swept off the aircraft and killed on the roof tour, everyone else on board managed to survive. Yet it shouldn't come as a surprise that thanks to this tragedy, a number of safety reforms soon took place across the airline industry. Number 3. The Gimli Glider Typically speaking, passenger aircraft never operate as glider planes. But in the case of Air Canada Flight 143, the pilots on board had no choice but to use this unconventional approach. That's because while flying between the Canadian cities of Montreal, Quebec and Edmonton, Alberta on July 23rd of 1983, disaster struck when the Boeing 767 being flown completely ran out of fuel. Now, generally speaking, there are a number of checks and balances in place so that this never happens. 
and as a result, neither of the pilots had been trained on how to react in a no-fuel situation. Thankfully, however, Captain Robert Pearson had extensive experience as a glider plane pilot, and as such began to execute a number of specific glide plane maneuvers that a regular airline pilot would not have known. It was this expertise that ultimately allowed him to make an emergency landing at a former Royal Canadian Air Force base in Gimli, Manitoba. Yet to their surprise, what used to be an air landing strip had been turned into a drag racing course, and at the time of their descent, an event that was filled with visiting spectators was occurring on the track. Regardless, Pearson was able to land the plane without causing any serious injuries, making it one of the most miraculous emergency landings ever recorded. However, this still begs the question as to why the plane had no fuel in its tank. You see, at the time, Air Canada had been in the process of converting their measurements from the Imperial system to the metric system, and as such, the ground crew had accidentally mistaken the pilot's fuel request to have been in pounds rather than kilograms, which are heavier. As a result of this human error, the plane did not have nearly enough fuel to make the trip, ultimately leading to the emergency landing that occurred. Number 2. Aeroflot Tupolev Tu-124, Neva River Ditching While most pilots won't attempt to fly a faulty aircraft, on August 21st of 1963, 27-year-old Captain Viktor Mustavoy decided to put his common sense aside before a flight from Tallinn, Estonia to Moscow, Russia. That's because despite his plane's nose gear not retracting during takeoff, Mostovoy chose to continue flying, hoping that this technical issue wouldn't become a problem during the flight. Unsurprisingly, it soon did, and after some quick calculations, Mostovoy decided that it would be best to land the plane in St. Petersburg, Russia. Now, Mostovoy figured that if he circled around the city eight times, he could lower the plane's fuel reserves to a point where a fuel-based fire would be unlikely, and a safe landing at St. Petersburg Airport would be almost certain. However, it turns out that Mostovoy's mathematics skills were just as sharp as his common sense, and thanks to a miscalculation, the plane's engines flamed out due to fuel starvation while on the eighth circle, leaving him stranded above the skies of St. Petersburg about 19 kilometers from the airport. He then had no choice but to initiate a crash landing, where after missing the Bolsheo Katinsky Bridge by just 9 meters, and then the unfinished Alexander Nevsky Bridge by a mere 4 meters, he collided into the Neva River. And while this would have led to the death of all on board in most cases, by sheer chance, a 65-year-old steamship was nearby. And upon seeing the crash plane, the crew quickly got to work smashing the windshield and rescuing all of the people inside. And as a result of the boat crew's efforts, everyone on board survived the crash, thus making this emergency landing truly miraculous. Number 1. The Miracle on the Hudson while a flight from New York City to Charlotte, North Carolina may not sound like the most exciting experience in the world, airline passengers got more than they could have ever bargained for on board U.S. Airways Flight 1549. That's because less than three minutes after departing from New York's LaGuardia Airport on January 15th of 2009, the plane hit a flock of Canadian geese, with a number of them getting sucked into the aircraft's engines. And while a smaller bird would have caused only minor damage thanks to the fact that Canadian geese are relatively large, they almost completely disabled the aircraft's engines, thus making it impossible for the plane to land safely at either of the area's nearest airports. As a result, the pilots had no choice but to land in the Hudson River, and just four minutes after the initial impact, the plane descended southwards at a rate of about 125 knots into the river. And while such a landing would have normally led to the deaths of most of those on board, miraculously, pilot Chelsea B. Sullenberger was able to land the plane safely atop of the river, where nearby boats were able to quickly rescue everyone who was on board. Best of all, despite five of the passengers and crew members experiencing serious injuries, not a single one died as a result of the incident. And as such, pilot Sullenberger was deemed to have made the correct decision in ditching the plane. This ultimately led to the incident being widely recognized as the Miracle on the Hudson. And as a direct result, Sullenberger was later awarded the prestigious Master's Medal by the Guild of Air Pilots and Air Navigators for his efforts. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.